vivre. Dans le prophète, il faisait, il faisait vain visions. If the prophets, if the prophet focuses on personal visions with sensational insights like visits to heaven or hell, for example, his words are to be distrusted. This is said in Colossians 12, Colossians 2 verse 18. Six, does the prophet deliver only positive messages. If the prophet never issues a call for repentance, he is not to be trusted. He is to be suspected. This is said in Jeremiah 23 verses 16 to 17. Seventh, does the prophet appear to be greedy for monetary gain. If the prophet operates in a manner that makes it appear that his greatest interest, his greatest goal is money, he is to be avoided. This is said in Jeremiah 8 verses 10 to 11. Eighth and last, and I said this is not the least. Does the prophet focus on the exaltation of Yahshua Christ? If a prophet tries to bring attention to himself and focuses on the Antichrist, that means other things like men, like angels, and so on, which Apostle John said that Antichrist, or he focuses on the sensational, like to show that he is making miracles and uh, uh, so I try to attract people, people by always saying, uh, come, you, I'm going to make miracle in your life today and so on. They are drawing attention to himself as a miracle, and as a miracle worker, uh, uh, he is to be questioned. This is said in Revelation 19 verse 10. Over and over the word of God commands us to test all message lest we be deceived and less astray. Paul urged the people of Berea to test everything he taught them. And they did so, I quote, examining the scriptures daily that means when, when Paul talks to them, they would go to scripture and examine them to see whether what he was teaching was scriptural. This is said in Acts 17 verses 10 to 11. Paul was an apostle. You know who an apostle is? He is an unwanted man of God and the greatest, of, uh, uh, the greatest authority in the church of grass. How much more sh so uh, should we test everything we hear taught by the standard of the word of God, which we have in our hands, the Bibles. There were false prophets in the Old Testament, but there are false teachers today. It's amazing how easily people are deceived by all kinds of teaching. People will fall for anything today. It's easy to fool people today. The word of God, God Yahweh, is what you are to rest upon. And the word of God is accessible to you. False teachers are the danger of the church of Christ today. And believe me, they are dangerous seriously dangerous. What is a false teacher? A false teacher is one who knows the truth. He knows scriptures, but deliberately lies for some purpose. It is either for some selfish reason, or he wants to please people, or he does it for money 
of all of this together. There are many teachers like that today. Like Ananiah in the scripture of the day, they preach and say what people want to hear, what people want them to say. Also, they know what the truth is. That is a false teacher. People may even know that this is a false teacher, but because he says what they want to hear, they will, they will flock in his church. Now false teachers have true doctrine. Not like those in the Old Testament. They have true doctrine. There is not a cult. There is not a cult that does not have some truth in it. Know that. Even when you go to Satanism, they will attract you by taking some truth from the Bible so that you will be comfortable because if they start telling you all they want they want to put in your heads you being a Christian you will be afraid because that will be totally contrary to what to, to, to what they will they want to induce you to so what they do they start with you but giving you Bible truth slowly introducing some poison, the poison of their doctrine, so that when you are already completely in their, in their cult, and uh, you would have all already uh, uh, made the oath with your blood and so on, and they threaten you that if you back up, you die, then they're going to tell you their philosophy of evil, knowing that you cannot Back, uh, go back again. That is the one thing that makes them, the cults, a uh, 10,000 times more dangerous than if they were a hundred percent in error. These teachers generally believe some things that are true in the Bible. The, our Lord says, our Lord said about them, I quote, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. End of quote. This is said in Matthew 7 verse 15. Satanists will always come to you that way. Like, 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 like sheep's and false teachers also. Paul warned the church of Ephesus about them, I could. For I know this, that after my departing, my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock, and I could, quoting Acts 20 verse 29. These wolves in sheep's clothing will absolutely destroy the flock and scatter them. That means those who came here seeking Christ, they will be destroyed and scattered. They will not believe anymore. Our Lord made this clear when he gave us a picture of the condition of the kingdom after his rejection, crucifixion and resurrection. He would not establish his kingdom on earth at that time. But he said that the kingdom of heaven would be like a sower sowing seed, like a, a mustard, a mustard a tree, and like and like leaven. Leaven has gotten into the into the bread today. The bread is the word of God. And there is a lot of false teaching that goes out under the guise of being the will of God. The tragedy is that most professing Christians today are incapable of testing anything because they are biblically ignorant themselves. There is a famine of the will of God. 
in most churches today. As it is said in Amos 8 verse 11. As people are fed a diet of pop psychology and positive thinking. I may go very lengthily in this that I say in few words. There are philosophies there, are there. Even, even, even I know a case of a young man recently graduated. He was with this pop psychology, psychology and positive thinking. He was driven from his Christian education by a young guy who was telling you how it's useless to go to, to university after high school. He, 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 they will start business and uh, they will become icon like the creator of Google and Facebook and all those stars. And uh, it takes only to be entrepreneurial, that means creating, creating businesses and everything, the miracle going to happen. Despite all the advices given the young man, he was, he fell, he fell, he fell uh, 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 to this, the, to, the, to this lost child doctrine, who, who dragged him to everything, drugs and complete loss. This is what I mean here by pop psychology and positive thinking. False teachers do the same thing to fill their churches. They lure people with positive thinking. That means they tell people what they want to hear. They avoid what Christ asks people to do, to repent, to go through brokenness, to, so that they will be changed person, new person who will enjoy a life of happiness. They will, they will, they will derail that, them from that road, that from that path instead, and make them fall back in sin and hell. So, by what about you? Are you in the Word of God on a daily basis? If you are not, that is what you should be doing. You should be reading the Bible daily. Are you capable of testing doctrine by scripture? You will be able to do this only if you read the Bible. If not, then you have not the spirit of discernment and you are a sitting duck for deception. For the scripture says, examine everything carefully. Hold the fast so that hold, hold the fast to that which is good. End of quote. This is said in First Thessalonians 5 verse 20, 21. People seek our almighty God Yahweh through his son Yahshua Christ and the guidance of his Holy Spirit because they want to live a holy life and because they want to be saved false prophets and teachers drag them back into sin and hell instead know this and the Lord Yahweh will bless you let us take these prayer points let us pray for discernment. Let us pray for this so that God can help us. That we may not be fooled. Father Yahweh, grant me the spirit of wisdom and discernment. So that I may know you better and love you more. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, grant me the spirit of wisdom and discernment. So that I may know you better and love you more. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, grant me the spirit of wisdom and discernment, so that I may know you better and love you more. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. 
in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Give me an understanding heart so that I may be open to hear your voice and hear you say, this is the path, walk in it. In the name of Yeshua, give me an understanding heart so that I may be open to hear your voice. And here you say, this is the path, walk in it. In the name of Yeshua, give me an understanding heart so that I may be open to hear your voice. And here you say, this is the path, walk in it. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Use me to be your hand and seat. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, use me to be your hands and feet. In the name of Yeshua, Father Lord, use me to be your, your hands and feet. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Use me to be your voice and heart that I may be a channel through which you pour out your grace to help to help, to help others. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, use me, Father Yahweh, to be your voice and heart, that I may be a channel through which you pour out your grace to help others. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, use me to be your voice and heart, that I may be a channel through which you pour out your grace to help, to help others. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. May I decrease to nothing so that only Christ is seen in me. In the name of Yeshua. Now, this is a very important, a cornerstone prayer that you would be praying here. The problem you have in, in, in not benefiting the, the, the blessings of God is that there is too much of you yourself in your life which is called the god of self you believe in yourself in the god of self which is talking talk, talk, uh, spoken about in genesis 3 verse 5. you will need to decrease to be humble to be as nothing your past experience experience should teach you that you are wrong and if you keep trusting in yourself you will finish in destruction so this is the prayer pray like this may i decrease to nothing so that only christ is seen in my life in the name of yeshua may i decrease to nothing so that only Christ is seen in my life. In the name of Yeshua, may I decrease to nothing, so that only Christ is seen in my life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father, you keep me from becoming captive to the philosophies of men, and to be alert to the empty deceit of this world system in the name of Yeshua Father Yahweh keep me from becoming captive to the philosophies of men and to be alert to the empty deceit of this world system in the name of Yeshua Father Yahweh keep me from becoming captive to the philosophies of men and to be alert to the empty deceit of this world system Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Keep me from become, be, becoming captive to the traditions of man. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, keep me from becoming captive to the traditions of man. In the name of Yeshua, keep me from becoming captive to the traditions of man. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Keep me from becoming captive to the false religious lead, the, the, to the false religiosity that seems to predominate in Christendom today. In the name of Yeshua, 
keep me from becoming captive to the false religiosity that seems to predominate in Christendom today. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, keep me from becoming captive to the false religiosity that seems to predominate in Christendom today. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Hey, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Give me discernment to know what is good. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me discernment to know what is good. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me discernment to know what is good. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Hey, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Give me discernment to seek after that which is wholesome and godly. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, give me discernment to seek after that which is wholesome and godly. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me discernment to seek after that which is wholesome and godly. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Hey, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Give me discernment to be aware of what or aware of that wish is counter to your truth and likely to harm my spiritual walk with Christ. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me discernment to be aware of that which is counter to your truth and likely to harm my spiritual walk with Christ. Hey, in the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me discernment to be aware of that which is counter to your truth and likely to harm my spiritual walk with Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Keep me in the power of your spirit. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, keep me in the power of your spirit. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, keep me in the power of your spirit. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Guard my mind that I may be discerning to know the truth and to reject evil. In the name of Yeshua, guard my mind, Father Yahweh, that I may be discerning to know the truth and to reject the evil. In the name of Yeshua, guard my mind, Father Yahweh, that I may be discerning to know the truth and to reject the evil. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your great, great love for me. In the name of Yeshua, thank you, Father Yahweh, for your great love for me. In the name of Yeshua, thank you, Father Yahweh, for your great love for me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you that you know my need and the path that I will take in the future. In the name of Yeshua, thank you that you know my need and the, tab, the path that I will take in the future. In the name of Yeshua, thank you that you know my need and the path that I will take in the future. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Help me to discern what my future needs are and not to confuse them with my own fleshly desires or the vanities of my heart. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, help me to discern what my future needs are, and not to confuse them with my own fleshly desires or the vanities of my heart. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, help me to discern what my future needs are, and not to confuse them with my own fleshly desires or the vanities of my heart. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, give me true discernment. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahweh, give me true discernment. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me true discernment. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. My heart is open to your leading and guidance. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, my heart is open to your leading and guidance. In the name of Yeshua, 
My heart is open to your leading and guidance. Thank you, Lord. For unto your glory, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. My desire is that I do only those things that are righteous in your sight. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, my desire is that I do only those things that are righteous in your eyes. In the name of Yeshua, my desire is that I do only those things that are righteous in your sight. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For the sake of your name, Father Yahweh, let me be quiet to listen to your voice and slow to assume that I know your will when it is my own fleshly thinking. In the name of Yeshua, for the sake of your name, let me be quiet to listen to your voice and slow to assume that I know your will when it is my own fleshly thinking. In the name of Yeshua, for the sake of your name, Father Yahweh, let me be quiet to listen to your voice and let me be slow, slow to assume that I know your will when it is my own fleshly thinking. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Give me true discernment to know your will. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me true discernment to know your will. In the name of Yeshua, give me true discernment to know your will. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, I know that your ways are, are inscrutable and your mind is unknowable. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahweh, I know that your ways are inscrutable, inscrutable, and your mind is unknowable. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yahweh, I know that your ways are inscrutable and your mind is unknowable. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yet you have chosen to put in my heart and take up residence in my feeble body. In the name of Yeshua, yet you have chosen to put in my heart and take up residence in my feeble body. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, yet you have chosen to put in my heart and take up residence in my feeble body. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let me be used of you to be a good and faithful witness in all I say and do, as my desire is to do your will and not mine. In the name of Yeshua, let me be used of you to be a good and faithful witness in all I say and do. As my desire is to do your will and not mine. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, let me be used of you to be a good and faithful witness in all I say and do. As my desire is to do your will and not mine. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Give me true discernment and wise counsel. Counsel. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me true discernment and, and wise counsel. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, give me true discernment and wise counsel. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of teaching, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, of spiritual growth, of spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father Yahweh. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Now, with the waving of our hands to our loving Father Yahweh, let us shout. Seven joyful hallelujah, seven victorious hallelujah, seven thanksgiving hallelujah to our good Father. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. 
Alléluia. 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 May Father Yahweh bless each and every one of these worship. Please may Father Yahweh bless you as you go out. May He bless you as you come in. May Father Yahweh make it. May Father Yahweh bless you. That everywhere you go, you will always meet with open doors of good opportunities. May Father Yahweh bless your hands. May He bless your your possessions. May He bless your hearts. May Father Yahweh bless your efforts. May He bless your labor. May He bless your endeavors and turn them into success. May Father Yahweh bless you that the enemies may come against you in one direction, but they will flee before you in seven. May Father Yahweh bless you. That everywhere you go, all the evil mountains, evil wall, evil gatherings that are standing against your progress shall crumble, shall become flat, shall burn up walks before fire, shall turn instead into, into a highway, into a stairway for your advancement, your elevation, your exaltation. May Father Yahweh, may Father Yahweh bless you with the infilling of his fire, his fire of deliverance, his fire of healing his fire, of restoration his fire, of regeneration his fire of transformation. May Father Yahweh fill you with his word of life. May Father Yahweh make it permanent his answers to our prayers. May he lay his right hand upon you. May he dress you in his plan of glory. May he surround you with his edge of fire. May Father Yahweh settle you on your promised land, the land that flows with spiritual and material milk and honey, the most beautiful of lands. May he settle you with good health, happiness, prosperity, success, and eternal life. Go in peace. May the peace of our Lord, Yahshua, the Messiah, be with you all. Amen.